British physicist Stephen Hawking taught the idea that monkeys hitting keys at random on a keyboard for an infinite amount of time would somehow hunt and peck and type out a Shakespearean sonnet. And since monkeys could do that, then evolution is possible. But is that reasonable? A while ago, the British National Council of Arts experimented by placing six monkeys in a cage with a computer. After one month of hammering away at it and using the keyboard as a tool, a weapon, and even a restroom, the monkeys produced 50 typed pages. How many actual words did they type? Zero. Now I was surprised, but I, I shouldn't have been if I'd thought of the overwhelming odds. The likelihood of getting even a one-letter word with a 30-character keyboard is one out of 27,000. That's getting just a one-letter word, like, like the word A with a space on both sides. So what's the chance of getting Shakespeare? That's definitely a huge leap of faith. So mathematically, evolution is just as unlikely. Here's an interesting comparison between evolution and the chance of assembling a Shakespearean sonnet. This was done by Dr. Gerald Schroeder. He holds a PhD in two fields, Earth and Planetary Sciences and Nuclear Physics from MIT. Take the sonnet that begins, Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Start by putting each letter of the English alphabet into a grab bag. Now put on a blindfold, reach into the bag, pull out a letter. The likelihood that it will be an S for the first letter of the sonnet is just one chance in 26. Now the odds of the next one to be an H is one chance in 26 times 26. So the possibility of getting the entire sonnet by chance is 26 multiplied by itself for all 500 letters of the sonnet. That number comes out to be a 1 with 700 zeros after it. Math terms, that's 10 to the power of 700. Now that's an amazingly huge number. So how improbable is that? Well, let's get some perspective. The number of basic particles in the known universe, that's protons, neutrons, electrons, the number of those particles is estimated to be 10 to the power of 80. But remember, the possibility of the building blocks of life coming about on their own is an amazing 10 to the power of 700. So mathematicians would consider the odds of that happening impossible. That's another example of evolution's giant leap of faith. Chance didn't produce understandable text. It wouldn't fabricate a sonnet and certainly could not explain life. That's what the Bible tells us. Thus says God the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spread forth the earth and that which comes from it, who gives breath to the people on it, and spirit to those who walk on it.